to Century Amp Citywide for some of the guns, 6124 South King Drive. Caller says 32 Venezuelans are trespassing the building, showing guns in the courtyard. To all Venezuelans in Chicago, this is, this is the warning. Y'all use a lot of handgun, old revolvers, and machetes and shit. We got switches. Okay, so we've talked about what's going on in Colorado with this illegal immigrant gang activity with this whole situation of these soft Democrats giving up American soil, submitting to foreigners, to foreign nationals, to valid criminals, submitting U.S. territory, <laughs> like with the apartment complexes in Aurora with the mayor being a soft and charming sitting there trying to downplay it, letting them get away with it. Now let's talk about what the hell is going on in Chicago. Brandon Johnson, <laughs> one of the worst mayors in the country. So we talked extensively about the migrant situation, the illegal immigrant influx in Chicago, how he's crying, trying to blame Greg Abbott, how he's been stressing out so bad that he's had panic attacks, been hospitalized because the job is too stressful for him, because too many illegal immigrants, too much crime going on in the city. So. It looks like a gang war is flaring up. A gang war is about to pop off, unfortunately. It looks like a Latino versus black gang war is probably about to pop off. We got the normal gang wars every weekend. Like I said before, every weekend we have mass shootings in Chicago. People getting killed every day, but it's black on black crime. <laughs> Nobody gives a damn. The whole Democrat Party went to Chicago, what, two weeks ago? Had a whole celebration, had an abortion ban out in front. Nobody addressed the issue of black on black crime because again, nobody gives a damn about these types of situations, about these types of crimes. But we have this notorious migrant gang trained at Arawa, originated in Venezuela and has established multiple footholds in the United States, Miami, Colorado, New York, Chicago, all because of Democrats, all because Democrats says, all oh, your asylum seekers come on in. There's no such thing as crime coming in from the border. These are all single moms just trying to get some help. And if you say anything about it, you're racist. So under the guise of asylum, these illegal immigrants have come in, established their activities, their criminal networks, their gang activities, selling drugs, doing all types of stuff, raping girls, shooting cops, all types of horrific acts. So let's take a look at this news clip to get a little insight as to what's going on in the Chicago area with this gang. First here at five o'clock, members of a violent Venezuelan gang have made their way into the U.S. and here to Chicago. Authorities confirmed to NBC News that they are investigating more than 100 criminal cases connected to suspected gang members. We have been told that certain uh, of the members of Tren de Aragua have done certain crimes in the neighborhood, but we can't say if, if it's really them. This comes as local law enforcement officials told NBC News the gang is believed to be linked to criminal cases in five states, including Illinois and Indiana. NBC5 confirmed at least two members have been arrested here in Cook County for narcotics and weapons-related charges. Edwin Cameo was accused of selling cocaine to an undercover officer several times. We reached out to the Chicago Police Department for a comment on this Venezuelan gang. We did not get a response. Reporting in Little Village. So this gang has become more famous than MS-13. And we have this native Chicago guy issuing a warning to these Venezuelans because we all know the gang activity going on in Chicago. I just talked about it. And it looks like the Chicago gangs are upset because their territory is being infiltrated by foreign gangs, by trained at Arawa. And they've been able to get away with a whole lot of stuff. Like I said, they literally shot cops. Remember, we had five of them beat down two police officers in broad daylight, New York City and the New York DA. Oh, they let them get away with it. They're trying to go after Trump over BS. But when five illegal immigrant gang members beat down police officers in broad daylight, oh, that's fine. That's completely OK. Let's take a look at what this. I guess he's a gang member <laughs> in Chicago. Some hood guy or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> but let's take a look at what he said. The all Venezuelans in Chicago. This is, this is the warning. If you ain't on no bullshit, stay neutral. Somebody please translate. Stay neutral. If you know somebody that's in your building on bullshit, don't let them run in that building and don't let nobody see them running that building. Because once word get out that that's the building that they in, 
they're going to chop that bitch down. Whatever building, the abandoned building you, y'all occupying and all that shit. Yeah, you better get your food and just stay in the house. Because they come out doing some bullshit. Y'all going to regret that. You're going to really regret that. So, I don't speak Spanish. So, somebody need to translate. I hope they got they got TikTok that translate, I guess. They can kind of make me seem like I'm speaking Spanish. But anyway, take it for, take this like a grain of salt if you like. But this ain't Colorado. This ain't, this ain't Utah. This ain't none of them places. This is just like where you're from. The only difference is y'all use a lot of handgun, old revolvers and machetes and shit. We got switches. We got switches. If you're not familiar with what a switch is, we will show you. We don't really be with all the telling and shit. But we will definitely show you what a switch is. So, again, somebody translate. Yeah. Make this known. This ain't, this ain't, like, this ain't like Colorado. I'm just saying. Now, a lot of people are happy with what he said. And a lot of people are pumped up about this. And it's unfortunate. And I'm going to get into why in a second. But first, I want to get into this article here. Because apparently, this guy, he's issuing a warning. But apparently, they've already infiltrated. They've taken over an apartment complex in Chicago. They're already running the activity. And they're not worried about the black gangs at all. But some people are disputing that. The police are saying they don't see anything. So let's read a little bit to get a little bit more insight. Chicago police called over armed Venezuelan migrants in apartment complex report says Chicago police received a call Monday night about Venezuelan migrants showing weapons in a South side apartment building. According to a report shared via X, a dispatcher was told that 32 Venezuelans displayed guns in the courtyard of the complex in the Washington park neighborhood. The X account spot news posted. They were allegedly trespassing and parked motorcycles there as the stairwells became filled. Now, this is the report. We heard the dispatch talking about it at the beginning, a little excerpt from the dispatch. But apparently the police went and didn't see anything. A Chicago Tribune photojournalist shared a photo of the scene later that night saying, according to a source, no migrants were found with weapons or motorcycles. So apparently the police logged that they visited there, but... They closed it out because there was nothing going on. Now, we don't know how long it took the police to respond. What exactly they did. Did they check for surveillance in the area? Did they ask questions? Did they knock on doors? We don't know. But it's kind of being downplayed. Some people are saying, well, this call came through, but it was a nothing burger. We don't know, but I would say it's more likely than not because we've seen the activities. We've seen these migrants, what they did in Miami, what they did in New York, what they're doing right now. In Colorado, so if somebody calls and says we see dozens of migrants here, dozens of Venezuelans, <laughs> and some of them are armed at this apartment complex, I would say it's more likely than not, even though the police allegedly didn't see anything. Now, remember, we're talking about Democrat news outlets and Democrat institutions, the governments, so they have an incentive to protect themselves because they're the ones who incentivize these illegal immigrants to come in and to begin with. So we got gang members, we got terrorists coming in, we got Chinese spies. We just saw what happened to Kathy Hoko over there in New York with the Chinese spy. So we got all types of criminals infiltrating the border. <laughs> and the Democrats want the border wide open because in the long term, they believe they can give them political power. But here they're saying it's a nothing burger. And like I said, we don't really know. Now back to this, I guess he's a gang member, this guy who was issuing this warning to these Venezuelans who looks like he's ready to pop off. Him and his boys looks like they're gearing up for a fight, a gunfight. Now, it's unfortunate that it comes down to this, but when you look at the origins of these black gangs, particularly the Crips and the Bloods later on, when you go back to the 60s, one of the main reasons why these gangs originated was to protect the community because law enforcement wasn't doing their job protecting people. There was a lot of racism going on and even black people being beaten and harassed by police officers because this was the Jim Crow era, right? But 
it looks like the community in Chicago, because again, the Chicago police are not doing their job when it comes to these illegal immigrants because of Democrat policies. So the residents are applauding the gang members, the black gangs, the local gangs, and encouraging them to take action to protect the community. Crazy, huh? So let's get into some of the comments from this video with the gang member issuing that warning. Now you got some people, even with the Colorado situation coming out saying, well, this is fake news. It didn't happen. They're just trying to stir up trouble. But let's go through some of them. 32 Venezuelan migrants ran through an apartment complex already last night in Chicago. Step up, LKBL. So we know about the big national gangs like the Crips, but some gangs, like when you go from city to city, you have local gangs and the gangs have different names. So you might not understand everyone. Check this one. <laughs> we need GoFundMe pages for y'all to buy more switches and choppers. I'd rather fund y'all than pay taxes funding Ukraine money laundering or people crossing the border. <laughs> MAGA and the gangbangers need to work together. This is our country. It is not black and white. It's America versus Moxie Kami POS. You got switches and my hillbilly ass will teach you something. <laughs> Let's go Chicago gangs. Take back what is yours. We support you. PS as a middle-aged white guy. What's the switch? <laughs> oh yeah, I didn't explain that right. So the guy was saying they have switches. A switch is basically a device that you put on a pistol to make it a machine gun basically to make it auto fully automatic where you can continuously fire they're not very accurate but they fire off a lot of rounds really quickly and cause horrific damage chicago gangs will teach the venezuelan lessons they won't forget <laughs> let the gangs handle them chicago is not the one chicago armed heavy in the hood no police lead it. And, so, and somebody said the FBI is leaving military grade weapons around Chicago to, I guess, support the gang war. But there you have it. That's what's going on in Chicago. Looks like a gang war is brewing. It looks like these Democrats are trash, man. First of all, you're not doing anything about the local gangs going on, the Crips, the Bloods, and whatever local gangs are in Chicago. You're not doing enough. The feds and the local police they're not doing enough to take care of it and like i said nobody really gives a shit when it's black on black crime gangs killing each other and now you've invited all of these violent foreign gangs in and it looks like you're about to have an all-out gang war and you might have a lot of blood in your hands because of your trash policies this is what's going on in chicago let me know what you guys think leave me a thoughts below share the video thanks for watching